Welcome to our event, Muslim Film Festival. Under the theme Tafaku, that is through deep thinking, meditation, we might be able to obtain further understanding of the tension between politics and religion related to Islam or among uh, different Muslim communities. Women's contestation, women's voices in Muslim societies, the possibility of theological emancipation or the competing theological interpretation among uh, contemporary Muslims. So this is a very rare opportunity for us to understand current situation. Islam can be understood at so many levels. So when we say Islam says this, Islam says that, we must clarify in our minds what we mean by Islam. People, and I think it's a general in the world, they don't want to understand there is a big difference between fiction and reality. Fiction in film is not as free as what we thought. A religious persecution now is taking place in Xinjiang to synthesize Islam, such as force women not to dress in hijab. Men is not allowed to wear beard. Beside the governmental propaganda, leading by the extreme left intellectuals, the high majority, openly to spread the anti-Muslim hostility in the form of the hate speech. In all of these eras, all of these regimes, the leaders, they used religion for their political motivation. The Palestinian national movement adopted the armed struggle for the realization of liberation. But many Palestinians were killed and still suffer from the Israeli occupation. When I will go to school and speak with the teenagers, and when the, the, the film touched them very much, I said that you are, you are the hope to change. First of all, that Muslim women have to be educated about what their rights are, and then Muslim men have to be educated. So we have made some, some progress, but we have a lot, long, long way to go. I think there are occasions where human beings have been able to rise above their failings. But at the same time, human beings have interpreted these teachings and in a way that also reflects uh, the human capacity for, for evil. We need to understand any religion for that matter at different levels. If there is something that is interpreted in a way that is manifestly unjust, that cannot be the correct interpretation. What we need to do is to try to make sense of what's going on. If legally or politically we cannot solve the problem, at least we need to know how to think. In order to really make Islam living, then we need to open up for all different voices and interpretation so that they can really address contemporary society.